What is Google My Business and how does it work? Google My Business is a free tool that enables you to create a listing like this one for your business, which can be found by potential customers in Google Search and Google Maps. That's the simple answer. And if you're happy with that, you could stop watching this video right here. But wait, did you know there are about 3.5 billion searches in Google every day and almost half of these searches are for local businesses for which Google will include business listings as part of the results. That's a lot of prospective customers and a very good reason to create a listing if you needed one. Despite publishing almost 150 videos over the past five years to help business owners be found online, mostly on Google, I've realized I've never made a video for those of you who are just starting out and still unsure what Google My Business is. If you are one of these people, this video is just for you. Before I delve into this further, remember to subscribe and click on the bell button before the end so you get notified next time I publish a new video. Okay, so what is Google My Business and how does it work? As mentioned in the introduction of this video, Google My Business is a free tool that enables you to create a listing for your business, which can be found on Google Search or Google Maps when people are searching for a product or a service you offer. This gives you the chance to attract customers who have never heard of you before. Specifically designed for local businesses only, Google My Business is a fantastic tool to market and promote your business online. Think of it like the old Yellow Pages book, but on steroids. The main difference is, instead of relying on people to find your business by flicking through hundreds of pages of a phone directory, with Google My Business listing, your business can be found on the most popular search engine on the planet, Google. And unlike a phone directory where your business was only listed on one page, your Google My Business listing can appear in multiple places within the Google search environment. Anyone conducting a search in Google with a local intent, such as plumber near me or beauty salon Detroit, for example, will trigger a set of results that includes a map and the three most relevant local business listings. This is known as the map pack and is a prime spot for any business. Searchers clicking on the view links below the top three listings will be taken through to what is known as the local finder where more local businesses will be listed along with a much bigger map. Hovering on each listing will highlight the business location via a pin on the map. Moving the map to a different spot will update the list of businesses that are located in that area. Clicking on a specific listing will open a panel and provide searchers with detailed information about this very business. Users can interact directly with the listing, call the business, visit their website, ask questions, and much more. This panel can also be triggered directly in Google search results for certain type of searches, often brand related, like in this example for a Toyota car dealer, giving these businesses even more prominence. But that's not all. Your listing can also show up for people who are searching directly in Google Maps as opposed to the more conventional Google search box. I know what you're thinking, I've already covered this in the first example when I clicked below the top three listings, but you'd be wrong. What I did when I clicked on the view or link option was launch what is known as the Google Local Finder. Although the results you will get directly from Google Maps when searching for a local business look very similar to the ones you'd see on the Google Local Finder, they can be very different. Let me demonstrate. If I search for the keyword plumber near me and click through to the Local Finder, these are the listings I can see. If I conduct the same search directly in Google Maps, here are the results I get. Looking at them side by side clearly shows the business listings can be different in both environments. But while a lot of searches are conducted on desktops, a big chunk of local searches are nowadays done on mobile phones. So the question is, how does Google My Business work on mobile phones? The simple answer is very similarly. Conducting a search with a local intent on a mobile phone will still trigger a small map with a list of the top three most relevant businesses. Tapping through to the More Business link will still take you to the Google Local Finder where you can find more business listings. A huge amount of searchers will also use the Google Map app on their phone to find local businesses, which will provide the same results you can find on the Google Maps version on desktops. While your business profile will look slightly different from the desktop version, the information available to searchers will remain more or less the same. Based on everything I have covered so far, I can safely assume you now understand how beneficial running a Google listing can be for your business and what you would be missing out on if you don't claim yours. Remember, this is totally free, but there is still more. Your listing is also the chance to provide critical information about your business 
to prospective customers and convince them you are the best possible choice. How? There is a plethora of options and features available in Google Map Business to help you do that. Let's start with some of the most basic ones. You can add photos to your listing to showcase your services or products. You can add your logo. You can add a link to your website if you have one. You can add your business address, which will automatically create a map with a pin where your business is located. You can add your opening and closing times. You can add a business description so searchers know a little bit more about your business. By default, your listing will also automatically include some features such as directions to help people get to you from their current location, a call button which will trigger a phone call when you tap on it directly from a mobile phone, and a save button so visitors can save your listing details. But there is even more. You can also encourage customers to leave a review for your business. This will help boost your credibility and reputation, which in turn will encourage more people to do business with you. You can add a request a quote button to provide prices to customers almost on the fly. You can anticipate questions and respond to them directly using the frequently asked questions feature. You can add some health and safety attributes to let people know what you have put in place to combat the current pandemic and so on. You can also publish posts on your listing to promote your services, products, or an event your business is organizing. Depending on the type of business you are running, other features might be available to you. For instance, if you are in the restaurant industry, you can display directly in your listing if you offer takeaway or delivery options. I won't cover all the possible options here as it would take too long, but you can definitely see how powerful a listing can be and what it can do for your business. The next question is, how do you set one up? Setting up a listing is very simple. To start off, you'll need to create a Google account if you don't have one already. To do this, just go to account.google.com, then click on create an account, then simply follow the instructions. Once you've completed this step, just head over to google.com slash business and click on manage now. Start the process by entering your business name. It is possible Google knows about your business already and has created a listing for it, in which case it will appear in a suggested list. If it does, just select it and continue. If not, just click on the add your business to Google to start the setting up process. I'm not going to go through the entire setup here as it will take too long and it's not the purpose of this video. Instead, I recommend you watch my step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a listing for best results right after this so you don't make any mistakes, which could be quite costly. Once you've claimed your business, you will have access to your very own Google My Business dashboard from which you can manage your listing. Think of it as your control center. This is where you can edit all your business details, create posts to promote your business, respond to messages and reviews you may receive, etc. For those of you who are on a very tight budget, you can even create a free website from the dashboard that links directly to your listing in just a few minutes. And if you want to know how well your listing is performing, you will also be able to find out how users interact with it using the Insight tool. You'll discover how many calls or messages your listing has generated, if visitors found you on Google Maps or Google Search, and if it was on a mobile phone or a desktop computer. You'll even be given a list of the keywords visitors search for, which have led to the discovery of your business listing priceless information right there. To access the dashboard, you'll just need to go to google.com slash business. Click on sign in and select your location. And that's it. Hopefully you now have a clear understanding of what Google My Business is, how it works, and what it can do for your business. The next step is to set up your own listing so you can make the most of it. Before you go and do that, remember to subscribe and like the video as it helps support my channel. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.